What's happening everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Adam, this is Van City Audi. In behind me you see my Stage 1 E85 tuned B9 S4. I'm using integrated engineering software for the ECU as well as the TCU. For my TCU I've bumped it up from last time I was on the streets of Mexico from an aggressive launch to a race launch. So my car will allow more torque and possibly, I'm not sure honestly, <laughs> more boost before it fires out of the hole. Hopefully having a better 60 foot. Now I'm on my street tire, so I might spin, we'll see. If I do have an abundance of spin, I will run again. I'm possibly gonna do two runs today, I don't have a lot of time, but today I wanna showcase what Integrated Engineering's Stage 1 E85 tune paired with their race launch tune can do in my B9 S4 on the streets of Mexico. Just wanted to stress the fact that I do not have any additional upgrades in terms of hardware to make any more power than the last time you guys saw the car on the dyno. OEM intercooler, OEM turbo inlet, OEM air box. Just have an ethanol sensor to be able to read my e-content, some carbon fiber shiny bits, some lowering springs, some Enki RPF ones with some Continental street tires, as well as downgraded B9 A4 brakes. So like I just briefly mentioned, we just recently had this car on the dyno at Racing Greed. We were able to see exactly how many wheel horsepower and how many foot pounds of torque at the wheels we were able to make on this stage one E85 tune. If you didn't catch that video, I will put the link in the description below and you can check it out for yourself. The reason why I do these videos back to back like this is so you can see exactly how much of a difference it makes performance wise on the street not on a dyno you can actually see stepping up that ethanol content stepping up the power level with your tunes from integrated engineering to see just how much of a difference it actually makes in terms of performance I've talked enough guys let's get to this quarter mile testing here we go, let's see how quick we can run this quarter mile with my foot planted to the floor to hold it in place. Oh, some wheel spin. Some hard shift from first to second, but it's boogieing hard. This feels freaking fast. <laughs> Besides that wheel hop at the beginning, that was pretty decent. A little too much on the race file for street tires, methinks. So I was wheel hopping and spinning really bad. I'm not gonna quite let it build as much before I let go. Let's try this for a second time. Is this the life of an E85 tuned B9? My sunshade opened on its own. The G-force from those launches <laughs> opened it up halfway. This is awesome. Well, I am certainly happy I gave it a second attempt. The wheel spin on that first one killed the run, was not as good as I was expecting, but holy moly, that second one, much, much better. There are people that like to troll me and shit on my videos sometimes, as anyone would expect from all those unhappy people out in the world. Yeah, bro, I ran a quicker time than you. I am out here doing a one and done. <laughs> it's like, cool, man, that's awesome. Your car performed better than mine. This is is not a dick measuring contest. It's literally just me out here showing everybody what my car managed to do on the first attempt. Today I did two because I had some wheel spin and I knew the car could perform better and I'm very thankful I did. The results of my first run was an 11.56 at 118.81 miles per hour. My 60 foot was horrible though, of a 1.74. That's because of the wheel spin. So obviously my ET is going to suffer. My zero to 60 on that run was a 
3.43 second run. Now you're gonna have to forgive the slope showing is invalid on my draggy run. If there's one thing that sucks about draggy, it is its slope measurement, consistently off. For whatever reason, that full quarter mile run ran as valid. It's a perfectly flat road. But that zero to 60 was invalid. Makes no sense, never has. It frequently happens, but such is life. Now for the better run, the second one. I didn't hold down launch control quite as long and I had a much better launch. Still nowhere near the kind of traction you get at the track and with drag radials, but still showing you guys what it can do on the street second attempt. I managed an 11.43 at 119.80 miles an hour. I almost hit 120 miles an hour and all I have is a freaking tune, wheels, tires, and brakes. Very impressive platform and I can't wait to see how far we can push this thing. Also goes to show from one run to another. No wheel spin and took off really, really well. I dropped almost a full tenth on the ET and gained a full mile per hour. It is drastically different from run to run sometimes depending on the conditions and how well the car takes off. Last piece of info I'll share with you is my zero to 60 on that second run where it felt really aggressive off launch and was really smooth shifting. A 3.35 seconds. 3.3, zero to 60 with just a tune, wheels, tires, brakes, wow. Well, that was a lot of fun, guys. An 11 Ford, 119 miles an hour with just a tune, wheels, tires, brakes, and springs. I think I've said that like four times in this video now. I think I'm getting eaten by bugs out here. Mexico, it's not the friendliest of place. <laughs> Very impressive so far on this platform. I think it took me to a stage two E30 level with multiple bolt-ons in my B8S4 to go as quick as I am right now. I trapped a little higher with my B8S4 because it made more horsepower, whereas this is just a torque monster. It's so addictive, the thrust you get, especially off launch in this thing. It's really impressive. But now I'm done with tuning it. I got the Stage 1 E85 that is the pinnacle of tune for a Stage 1 car. Now it's time to start upgrading the hardware. So stay tuned for more action in the B9S4 as we start upgrading the cooling, we start upgrading the airflow in this vehicle. And along the way, I will performance test each and every piece of hardware we put on the car to see how well it works, or in some cases, how poorly it works. But you can look forward to that in the weeks to come here on Van City Audi. Thank you so much for watching everyone and until next time, take care.